Congratulations on becoming a new Subaru Crosstrek owner and welcome to the Subaru of Wakefield family. Before you get started on your first ever journey with your new Crosstrek, why don't we check out all the great features this vehicle comes with so you're ready to hit the open road. Now before we begin, don't forget to take advantage of our great service and parts department. And if you have any questions, our sales team is here for you. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's check out your Subaru Crosstrek. Under the hood, the engine bay for the Boxer four-cylinder engine offers a clean and convenient design. With the oil, coolant, windshield washer, and brake fluid reservoirs all being highlighted with yellow caps. Even better, everything of importance is placed on the right side of the engine. So if you need to quickly change the oil or windshield cleaner, you can easily identify and focus on the task at hand and be back on the road. The fuel requirement for all Crosstreks, including models with the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, is 87 octane. And when you pull up to a gas station, simply unlock the vehicle, press down on the fuel door, and you're ready to fill up your car. Stepping inside, all Crosstrek models will be equipped with tilt and telescopic steering columns to help you find the most comfortable position when behind the wheel. For Crosstrek owners with a 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, your controls will be placed on the lower left side, allowing you to find the ideal seating position. Standard on all Crosstrek models will be a 4-way manually adjustable passenger seat, giving those passengers the ability to find added comfort during road trips. Looking over to the door controls, you'll find the switch for your power adjustable side mirrors, your lock and unlock buttons, and your power windows, with the front being one touch up and down for all models. On the left side of the steering column, you're going to notice a single row of buttons. And across all trims, these buttons will be unlabeled, except for the dial, which will adjust illumination brightness for the instrument panel and infotainment system. Moving over to your steering wheel, let's start off with the buttons mounted on the left side. By using the up and down arrow keys, you can scroll through a variety of information from your digital display, which can be found in between your analog gauges. Here you can monitor fuel efficiency, tire pressure, and your digital speedometer. If you receive any important messages pertaining to your vehicle, you can access the warning screen by pressing down on the button labeled information, and those messages will be shown on the display. Mounted above are buttons that control your radio presets if programmed in and the ability to scan through different stations. By pressing source, you can change from AM to FM and optional would be the Sirius satellite radio. And of course, you'll have hands-free calling buttons through Bluetooth connectivity. Wrapping up the left side will be the volume control so you can focus on the road ahead of you while finding the ideal audio levels. On the right side of the steering wheel, you'll find the adaptive cruise control settings, lane centering, and distance control. The two buttons labeled S and I are your different drive modes, Intelligent and Sport, which both affect throttle response and steering input. And then behind the steering wheel, you'll find the Trip Reset button. For the infotainment system, owners of a premium trim and above will have an 11.6 inch touchscreen whereas the base Crosstrek will be equipped with dual 7-inch multimedia displays. If your Crosstrek has this dashboard layout, the buttons mounted on both sides of these screens will be identical to what is offered on higher trims, which we'll discuss in further detail in a minute when we check out the larger head unit for better demonstration. If you are a returning Subaru buyer, you'll immediately recognize the top screen as it's the same user interface you're accustomed to using from prior model years. There will be quick access buttons below which will get you to desired menus if you prefer not using the touchscreen at all times. Just as you would with a larger infotainment system on the premium trim and up, you can add new shortcuts and by pressing down on those icons, you can rearrange them or delete them by dragging the shortcut to the bottom of the screen. This display will also allow you to customize general and vehicle settings. 
Quickly looking at the secondary screen, it's here where you'll have access to driver assistance features, safety systems, and of course X mode, which will engage hill descent control, giving you more confidence in snow or in off-road situations. Many of the settings you can turn on or off and even customize, you'd probably want to keep activated for peace of mind behind the wheel, particularly for pre-collision braking and the EyeSight driver assist technologies. Lastly, it's from this screen where you can adjust the fan speed, airflow direction, and AC. Now for the 11.6 inch touchscreen. Up top, you'll have the knobs for the volume and tuning when listening to your favorite music. Next, the button for your front window defroster will be found on the left, and the rear defroster on the right. The up and down arrow keys mounted on either side of the screen adjust the dual zone climate control, so passengers can enjoy a comfortable temperature during drives. For the screen itself, the fan speed, AC, and climate settings can all be accessed from the touchscreen to minimize button clutter. Just like with an iPad or most tablets, the home screen button can be found in the center, with icons placed on both sides. Starting from left to right, you'll find the vehicle settings icon, which leads you to your driver assistance technologies, X mode, pre-collision braking, and cruise control settings. Next is the auto start stop button, which can quickly be turned on or off by pressing down on the screen. To the right, you can connect new devices to your Crosstrek through wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, with a seamless process to connecting your phone to the car. And this menu provides step-by-step -step instructions to guide you along. Lastly will be the driver profile icon, which is helpful if you have more than one driver in the family. As with all Subaru Starlink multimedia displays, you can add new shortcuts for better accessibility to menus. And of course, you can delete these icons at any time. You will have general, sound, navigation if equipped, phone and radio settings that you can customize by pressing on the settings icon. Once you reach the car settings tab, it's here where you're given access to all your EyeSight driver assistance technologies, steering responsive headlights, and various safety systems, which we'd recommend keeping on for added assurance when traveling on weekly commutes. As we continue on with the rest of the interior, below the head unit, you'll find a USB-A and USB-C input, along with an auxiliary outlet. Optional for the premium and standard for the sport trim and up will be a wireless phone charging pad. And by pressing the power button, you can conveniently charge your phone where it will be safe and secure when driving. For the center console, mounted to the right will be the switches for the two level heated seats. And to the left is the electronic parking brake. Optional on all Crosstrek models except for the base is a power sliding and tilting moonroof, which can be opened or closed by using the switch found above. You'll also notice the SOS and blue I buttons, which will connect you to Subaru Starlink customer care for both emergency and roadside assistance services for added security and peace of mind every time you get behind the wheel. As we take a look at the back, the rear seats are a 60-40 split, with release knobs conveniently located within arm's reach. By lifting up on these knobs, the seats will fold quickly and easily, and now you can fit even more items when going on road trips. Beneath the floor mat, you'll find a spare tire, so if you encounter a flat during your travels, you can replace the wheel and be back on the road. Available for the Crosstrek, you will get a rear cargo cover, which will keep all your valuable items out of sight if you leave your vehicle unattended for a while. Once you're done loading up your Crosstrek, there'll be a handle placed on the inside of the liftgate, which gives you a steady grip when closing the rear hatch. As we wrap up, we hope this virtual walk around was helpful in getting you acclimated with your new Subaru. And now that we've gone over everything, it's time to turn on your Crosstrek and hit the open road. Once again, congratulations on your new Crosstrek. Enjoy, stay safe, and thank you for choosing Subaru of Wakefield.